Hello and welcome to a new video on MQL5 and neural networks. Uh, in this video we're going to be uh, testing the neural network um, that was written in Neural Networks Improved. Um, the old neural network uh, needed to be uh, updated so there's just this one line right here that you need to add compute derivatives input y underscore correct uh, or core um, you just need to add this to the training loop um, it's updated on my github so if you just go to my github and re-download the neural network it should all work pretty good so we're going to be testing uh, this um, this neural network and this little update that I've, I've uh, done uh, what we can do is do a very very basic test so we're gonna uh, comment this stuff out for right now and uh, we're gonna just run this and the reason uh, we put it on the init function is because we hit, we can just hit compile and it just kinda runs so as you can see uh, it took 1312 iterations um, here's the predicted values and here are the actual values and you can see they're very 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 close like it's off by less than 0 0.02 that's pretty uh, that's pretty good um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, comment this part out and what we're going to do is we're going to write a for loop and in this for loop we're going to create a, uh, a 2 by 2 matrix x underscore and we're going to fill it with values um, 0.5 to 0.1 and the corresponding matrix will be 0 and then we'll have 0 0.6 to 1 and the corresponding matrix will be 1 and we achieve that using this kind of beat so I'll explain it really quick. So beat is a map. This is a this is a random integer, and we're going to modulo it by two. So we're going to get the remainder. So say for example you have the modulo of twelve uh, mod twelve mod two, you would get zero because it's an even number. But say for example you had thirteen mod two, you'd get one, right? So it's like a zero one random number generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to do um, this calculation right here um, so if we do uh, this again mod 6 this is numbers 0 through 5 and then we're going to add um, uh, this 0 or 1 times 5 and this will give us little this will fill the matrix for us and as you can see the beat is either 0 or 1 so this matrix is either going to be 0 or 1 so it's, it's, it's a pretty cool little trick um, when you're training uh, neural networks you can create a little bit of random data that way so we're basically just classifying if it's a, a matrix with 0.1 to 0.5 in it it's going to be 0 if it's 0.6 to 1 in it it's going to be uh, 1 okay so we're going to train this net uh, this neural network on all this data we're going to throw it into this using nn.train and then we're going to uh, basically calculate a uh, or generate a prediction, right? So these are basically uh, the same thing, but we're going to instead of training on it, we're going to throw in the x and see if we get the y, the y underscore real. Okay, so let's see if that happens. So let's do control -all save, and we need to get rid of this. Um, let's see if we can compile. So, there we go. All right, so the prediction was 0 .000, and the answer, the real value was zero, okay? That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get other values. And the training looks pretty messy, actually. So, this is not correct, right? So right here we have um, 0.2 and the correct answer is 1 and we have to figure out like why on earth that's happening. 
right? Maybe we don't have enough training data. Maybe uh, it's not scaled up enough. But let's give it a, let's give it a little bit more training data. So we're going to give it 1,300, and let's see if this works better. So if we don't have the correct answer, we can always give it more training data. And then, and as you can see, with more training data, it takes longer to train, right? Okay, that one's really on the fence. So let's see if we can do it one more time. We got 0.5. That was like. That's like really, really like on the fence. Um, and as you can see, okay, so this one's correct. The zero and the point zero three, uh, three. So let's keep hitting the, the random number generator and let's see if we can do this. Okay, so this is, this is also zero. This is e to the negative 10. So this is like uh, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then a 3. So this is really, really close to 0. So we're doing better. Um, again, this is also 0. Um, this is also 0. And this is 1, yeah, so it's above 0. 0.5. So we basically just gave it a little bit more training data. And uh, it seems to have uh, worked a little bit better. So that's 0.48 and it's giving us 1, which is not what we want. This is not doing this a couple seconds ago. Um, so that's. So I guess like 0.4 or 0.5 is like undecided because it's really, really on the fence. It's like, it, it's like indeterminate, you know? Let's see. Uh, okay, that's definitely 0. Let's see if we can. Maybe it's the ones that are really giving us the, tr the trouble. Nope, that's 0 0.9. That's very good. That one's really good. And let's see if we can uh, continue this. So as you can see, some take longer than others to train. So that's zero. So okay, it's it's uh, with a you know fair amount. It's, generally pretty correct um, it's pretty nice so the cool thing is that we're actually getting uh, these optimization values and we're giving it some random data so let's let's stress test it a little bit and let's in, uh, increase the uh, this to just 10 let's just say just 10 okay um, oh that was very nice so that that's what did it as you can see all of a sudden the iterations just went crazy down so this is why neural networks are an art because you know you uh, like wow that's really really good um zero let's see if we can get a one in here um yeah there we go so sometimes you have to find the optimum hyperparameters uh, in this case, I guess it was 10. There's no, uh, to my knowledge, there's no algorithm uh, for the optimum hyperparameters or the number of hidden neurons. So we've got 10 hidden neurons here, um, but that's just that's just crazy good. So I guess things take a little bit of tuning and a little bit of tweaking. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe.